Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I wanted to just go ahead and kind of update you guys a little bit with um, the current Grimdon character that I'm playing. So this is a progress update from, uh, I guess, the video that I showed you guys earlier. Now this is going to be shown in some of the new content, so if you don't want any spoilers, don't go ahead and watch. So we are still in the first difficulty, level 44 right now. Just to go over my tree very quickly, if you guys want to take a look at it. Uh, I would not recommend going all the way into Occultist and maxing manipulation right away. I don't think it's bad at all, but it's going to make the game a little bit more difficult for you at the beginning. Uh, also, if you want to see the devotions, what we have going, uh, it might be a, a little different, but I've got currently uh, Viper, Staff of Ratosh, Panther, uh, Scorpion, Shepherd's Crook, and we are working our way into Behemoth right now. That'll allow us to respec Viper, and then we can continue with whatever we were doing. Uh, nothing too special on the gear. I do have an extra summon. He's literally useless. He comes from my amulet. Um, here's the current resistances. Remember, if you want to see your pet resistance or resists, you have to go to the second tab and scroll all the way down to the pet bonuses. So this is a, I think like a mini boss somewhere in here, and I wanted to show you guys how the character is currently working. Um, let's see, where is he at? Mr. Mini Boss, where are you? There he is. Alright, let's get him. Go get him, boys! Actually, just kidding. Let's juke him for a bit. Alright. And... Go get him. Uh, okay, so, like, all my skellies just, like, died already. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but, uh, field skeletons, man. I think they were low from, like, the previous engagement. Alright, down he goes. So that's how bossing has pretty much been, uh, for now. The last boss took a little bit to get used to because, um, unfortunately, if you have, like, ranged minions, like these ranged skellies, it's hard to really see them. Uh, but the ranged skellies, like, stay next to you, and for bosses sometimes, you need to be, like, almost melee for them to react. I don't know if that's, like, an AI bug and they're gonna be working on it. That's just something that I've kind of noticed for now. But so far, the character's been playing very smooth. Um, we don't have any deaths on the character. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Uh, from the level 50 quest off the last boss, we actually got an insane pair of boots. We got Fiend Flesh Greaves. Uh, we are currently playing kind of like Solo Self Found, so this was a fucking amazing find for us. Uh, I cannot wait to get this going so we get the 46% all damage and the total speed to our minions, uh, and not to mention the huge damage absorption shield. One thing to note is that damage absorption has been changed in this game now, and it used to actually apply before mitigation, so like turtle shield and everything. We're not very good end game, but they were still nice early game because just in general having like a raw bubble. That's been changed now, so it applies after the mitigation. So they're just like a million times stronger. Now that's what I've been informed of. I can't personally actually like tell you that, but that is what that, that's what's been informed of to me. Uh, I will tell you guys as well, for the expansion content, if you plan on doing it, there is a stupid amount of, like, poison damage. So I'd highly recommend for you guys to spec into Aspect of the Guardian, uh, because it will greatly help you uh, during your adventure through the, the game, basically. <laughs> uh, last thing, I'm just going to go over my gear really fast so you can kind of see what I'm using. I'll go over it a little slow. You can see all of, like, basically the components and everything that I'm using. So here we go. Everything is pretty much just going to be used to either keep your character alive or for minion bonuses as well. I actually wasn't able to make a relic until Sanctuary, so I didn't have a relic for quite a, like, quite a while, pretty much. Alright, so that pretty much concludes everything. Uh, the last thing to tell you is to just... Essentially, you want to dump majority of your points into physique, um, although you do want to get spirit so you can use like offhands and stuff, but this is kind of really up to you. Put as much spirit as you really feel necessary. I haven't put any points into cunning. And actually, the last thing to talk about for the devotion, what we currently have is giant's blood is just going to go on any of your auras, so it doesn't really matter. It's very easy to get. Uh, or self buffs. Scorpion sting you want with your... Um, what is it, with your minions, because they'll proc it all the time, so I have mine on my skellies. I've got Shepherd's Call on my Curse of Frailty, but I think uh, it's probably better to put it on like something like, uh, for example, Doombolt, because it'll have like 100% proc chance, or even like Bone Harvest, 
uh, or I don't even know. Ill, Ill Omen's not bad, but it fears mob it's, or, or mobs, so it's kind of odd. That's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a wonderful time, everybody.